Right, well, we've got a bit further on. Got the engine mountings out. That's one that side. On this side, so obviously we're supporting the engine. Um, I've still got to get the aircon unit off, which is down there. The exhaust needs removing as well, but I'll probably just remove that from the pipe down there. And I don't know what I'm going to do about steering, but I'm going to have to have research of that because that's the steering and it's still connected. And because we're removing the subframe, which is that bit under there, because uh, we're taking the whole thing, you see. So, uh, yeah, interesting. So, I don't know. But we're a bit further along. We've got. We've got. Uh, we've got the engine free at the top apart from the exhaust mount so we're getting there and we've got the subframe loose I've got it the, the two nuts underneath okay so let's just uh, do this <coughs> so the subframe itself is held on if you can see by one nut there see I'm not under there and another one which is there might be difficult to see because it's dark and I've got that one's actually off that one down there is off, and this one is still holding the subframe on. And it's the same on the other side, so they're loose now, which means that the bottom of the engine is not is only connected by those two knots, nuts. So is the steering rack, and the gearbox, and all the rest of the stuff. And once I remove those nuts, then that means that the whole of the bottom of the uh, engine is not supported. And I've taken the top, top ones away as well, the mountings are actually removed. So it should fall out downwards, and if I can drop it down, and probably I'll have to drop it down onto the uh, <coughs> onto the uh, crane, and then just move it around on the crane. But once I've done that, then that means it should be a massive, great, big gaping hole right through to the floor in this area generally here. But not today. Call it a day. Oh, go out, the Judith.